I've always believed that the moment you decide to be extraordinary is the moment your life begins to change. Today, I want to talk to you about something that can revolutionize your life, your career, and your relationships. It's a simple idea, but don't let its simplicity fool you. It's powerful enough to transform everything. Here it is. Act as if you are the best. No one is better than you. I can already hear some of you thinking, but that sounds arrogant, or isn't that just faking it? Well, let me tell you something. This isn't about arrogance. It's not about putting others down. It's about lifting yourself up to your full potential. When I say act as if you are the best, I'm talking about adopting the mindset, the habits, and the actions of someone who is at the top of their game. I'm talking about setting a standard for yourself that's so high it pulls you up by its very nature. Let me ask you this. Have you ever watched a great athlete perform or seen a master craftsman at work? There's a certain confidence, a certain poise that they carry. It's not arrogance, it's certainty. It's the knowledge that they've put in the work, they've honed their skills, and they're ready to perform at the highest level. That's what I'm talking about when I say act as if you are the best. It's about carrying yourself with that same certainty, that same poise in everything you do. Some of you might be thinking, but I'm not the best. I'm not even close. And to that, I say, so what? The beauty of this principle is that it works even if you're not the best. You see, when you act as if you're the best, something magical happens. You start to believe it. And when you believe it, you start to become it. It's a self-fulfilling prophecy of the most powerful kind. Imagine you're in a job interview. You're nervous, you're doubting yourself, you're wondering if you're good enough. How do you think that interview is going to go? But what if you walked into that interview acting as if you were the best candidate they could possibly hire? What if you carried yourself with confidence, spoke with certainty about your skills and experiences, and truly believed that you were the solution to their problems? Do you think that might change the outcome? You bet it would. And here's the kicker. Even if you don't get that particular job, acting as if you're the best will have changed you. You'll have practiced confidence. You'll have articulated your skills and experiences in a powerful way. You'll have raised your own standards for how you present yourself and all that will serve you well in the next opportunity that comes along. But let's be clear about something. Acting as if you're the best doesn't mean you stop learning or growing. In fact, it's quite the opposite. The truly best people in any field are always learning, always improving. They're hungry for knowledge, eager for new challenges. So when you act as if you're the best, you're also committing to continuous improvement. You're saying, I'm going to carry myself like the best, and I'm going to do the work to become the best. This principle applies to every area of your life. In your relationships, act as if you're the best partner, the best friend, the best parent. What would that look like? How would you treat people? How would you communicate? How would you show up day after day? In your health and fitness, act as if you're in the best shape of your life. How would you eat? How would you move your body? What habits would you cultivate? In your finances, act as if you're the best at managing money. How would you make decisions? How would you budget? How would you invest in your future? Now, I can hear some of you thinking, but isn't this just pretending? Isn't it fake? To that, I say, at first, maybe it is. But here's the thing about human beings. We are incredibly adaptable creatures. We become what we consistently do. If you consistently act confident, you become confident. If you consistently make healthy choices, you become healthy. If you consistently manage your money well, you become wealthy. It's not pretending, it's practicing, it's rehearsing for the role you want to play in your own life. And let me tell you something else. The world responds to how you act. When you carry yourself as if you're the best, people treat you differently. Opportunities open up. Doors that were closed suddenly become ajar. But remember, this isn't about fooling anyone. It's about fooling yourself. It's about tricking your own mind into believing in your potential, your worth, your ability to achieve great things. You see, most of us have 
a little voice in our head that says, you're not good enough, you can't do that, who do you think you are? And that voice, my friends, is a liar. It's a liar that's been programmed by years of self-doubt, by well-meaning but misguided advice, by setbacks and failures that we've misinterpreted. When you act as if you're the best, you're reprogramming that voice. You're telling it, actually, I am good enough. I can do that. I am someone who achieves great things. And here's the beautiful part. As you start to act this way, as you start to carry yourself with this confidence and certainty, you'll find that it becomes easier and more natural. What started as an act becomes your reality. Acting as if you're the best doesn't mean you ignore your weaknesses or your mistakes. The truly great people in any field are acutely aware of their shortcomings. But here's the difference. They don't let those shortcomings define them. They see them as opportunities for growth, as challenges to overcome. So when you act as if you're the best, you're also committing to honest self-assessment. You're saying, I'm going to hold myself to the highest standard. And that means I'm gonna be brutally honest with myself about where I need to improve. And that, my friends, is where the real growth happens. Because when you combine the confidence of acting like you're the best with the humility to recognize your areas for improvement, you become unstoppable. The most successful people I've ever met in any field all have this in common. They act as if they're the best, even when they're not sure they are. They carry themselves with a quiet confidence that says, I belong here. I have something valuable to offer. And you know what? That confidence is contagious. It inspires others. It creates a ripple effect that can change not just your life, but the lives of those around you. Imagine for a moment what your life would look like if you truly believe deep in your bones that you were the best at what you do. How would you walk into a room? How would you approach challenges? How would you treat yourself and others? That's the power of this principle. It's not just about achieving external success, although that often follows. It's about transforming your internal landscape. It's about becoming the kind of person who naturally attracts success, who naturally overcomes obstacles, who naturally lives a life of purpose and fulfillment. So I challenge you, starting today, to act as if you are the best. Act as if no one is better than you, not out of arrogance, but out of a deep belief in your own potential and worth. When you face a challenge, ask yourself, how would the best version of me handle this? When you're about to give a presentation, tell yourself, I'm the best person to deliver this message. When you're working on a project, approach it with the mindset of, I'm going to do this better than it's ever been done before. And here's the key. Don't wait till you feel ready. Don't wait until you have all the answers. Don't wait until you've conquered all your fears and doubts. Act now, act as if you are the best and you will become the best version of yourself that you can possibly be. Start now, start where you are, start with what you have because the truth is you'll never feel completely ready. The greatest achievers in history didn't wait until they felt ready. They acted as if they were ready and in doing so, they became ready. So my friends, I urge you, act as if you are the best. Act as if no one is better than you and watch as your life transforms before your very eyes. Let me tell you something that might surprise you. This principle of acting as if you're the best isn't just about you. It's about elevating everyone around you. When you raise your standards, when you commit to excellence in everything you do, you create an environment where others can't help but rise to meet you. Think about it. Have you ever been in the presence of someone who exudes confidence and competence? Someone who carries themselves with grace and certainty? It's inspiring, isn't it? It makes you wanna step up your own game. That's the effect you can have on others when you act as if you're the best. You become a beacon of excellence, a standard bearer for what's possible. And in doing so, you give others permission to do the same. But here's where it gets really interesting. When you act as if you're the best, you start to see the best in others too. You start to recognize and appreciate excellence wherever you find it 
And my friends, that is how you build a team of champions, whether in business, your community, or in your family. I know some of you are thinking, but, till, but what if I fail? What if I act like I'm the best and then fall flat on my face? Well, let me tell you something about failure. Failure is not the opposite of success. It's a part of success. It's a necessary step on the path to greatness. When you act as if you're the best, you're not saying, I'll never fail. You're saying, I'll face my failures with the confidence and the resilience of a champion. I'll learn from every setback and come back stronger. You see, the best of the best aren't afraid of failure. They're afraid of not trying. They're afraid of playing small. They're afraid of living with the regret of what if. So when you act as if you're the best, you're giving yourself permission to take risks, to stretch beyond your comfort zone, to reach for things that might seem impossible. And in doing so, you expand your realm of what's possible. In today's world, it's so easy to fall into the trap of comparing ourselves to others. Social media, for all its benefits, can sometimes feel like a highlight reel of everyone else's success. But when you act as if you're the best, you stop playing the comparison game. You realize that your only real competition is the person you were yesterday. You focus on your own growth, your own progress, your own journey. And here's the beautiful thing. When you stop comparing yourself to others and start competing with your own potential, that's when you truly start to stand out. That's when you start to achieve things that others might consider impossible. Acting as if you're the best doesn't mean you become complacent. It doesn't mean you rest on your laurels or stop striving for improvement. Quite the opposite, in fact. The truly great ones, the ones who consistently perform at the highest levels, are always hungry for more. They are always looking for ways to refine their skills, to expand their knowledge, to push their boundaries. So when you act as if you're the best, you're also committing to a lifetime of learning and growth. You're saying, I'm the best and I'm gonna keep getting better. That's the mindset that turns good into great and great into legendary. Your mindset is like the operating system of your life. It determines how you interpret events, how you respond to challenges, how you approach opportunities. When you act as if you're the best, you're installing a new operating system. You're upgrading your mindset to one of abundance, possibility, and growth. You start to see opportunities where others see obstacles. You start to find solutions where others see only problems. Here's the thing about mindsets. They're contagious. When you operate from a mindset of excellence, it spreads to every area of your life. Your relationships improve, your health improves, your finances improve because you're approaching everything with the attitude of, how can I do this at the highest level? The most successful people I know have a practice that might surprise you. Every morning before they start their day, they take a few moments to visualize themselves at their best. They see themselves performing excellently, achieving their goals, living their ideal life. This isn't just daydreaming, this is mental rehearsal. This is programming your subconscious mind for success. When you consistently visualize yourself at your best, you're more likely to act that way in real life. So I encourage you to try this every morning. Take just a few minutes to see yourself acting as if you're the best. Visualize yourself approaching your day with confidence, competence, and clarity. See yourself overcoming challenges, seizing opportunities, and making a positive impact. The words you use both in your self-talk and in your communication with others, have a profound impact on your reality. When you act as if you're the best, you need to align your language with that belief. Instead of saying, I'll try, say, I will. Instead of, I hope, say, I know. Instead of, I can't, say, how can I? These might seem like small changes, but they represent a fundamental shift in how you approach life. And here's something else about language. When you speak as if you're the best, you inspire others to do the same. Your words have the power to uplift, to encourage, to ignite passion in those around you. 
Use that power wisely and generously. Some people think that acting as if you're the best means you have to be perfect all the time. Nothing could be further from the truth. Perfection is an illusion, a mirage that keeps you stuck in place. When you act as if you're the best, you're not aiming for perfection. You're aiming for excellence. And excellence is about doing the best you can with what you have, where you are right now. It's about continuous improvement, not flawless performance. The truly great ones understand this. They know that mistakes are inevitable, but instead of fearing mistakes, they welcome them. They see mistakes as opportunities to learn and grow. They know that every error, every setback, and every failure is just feedback that can help them improve. So when you act as if you're the best, you're giving yourself permission to make mistakes. You're saying, I'm going to put myself out there. I'm going to take risks. And if I fall, I'll fall forward. Your habits are the building blocks of your life. They're the small daily actions that over time shape your character and determine your destiny. When you act as if you're the best, you start to adopt the habits of excellence. You become more disciplined, more focused, more intentional about how you spend your time and energy. You start to prioritize the things that truly matter and eliminate the distractions that hold you back. And here's the beautiful thing about habits. Once they're established, they become automatic. What once required effort and willpower becomes second nature. That's how acting as if you're the best becomes being your best. I want to address something that might be on some of your minds, but what about humility? Isn't acting as if I'm the best the opposite of being humble? Here's the truth. Humility isn't about thinking less of yourself. It's about thinking of yourself less. When you act as if you're the best, you're not doing it to inflate your ego or put others down. You're doing it to maximize your potential and your positive impact on the world. The most truly humble people I know are also the most excellent at what they do. They don't need to brag or boast because their actions speak for themselves. They're secure enough in their own abilities that they can freely acknowledge and celebrate the greatness in others. So when you act as if you're the best, you're actually cultivating true humility. You're saying, I have unique gifts and talents, and it's my responsibility to develop them to their fullest potential so I can be of maximum service to others. Whether you're in a formal leadership position or not, you have the opportunity to lead by example every single day. When you act as if you're the best, you become a natural leader. People are drawn to those who exude confidence and competence. They wanna follow those who have a clear vision and the ability to execute on that vision. By acting as if you're the best, you're stepping into your role as a leader, whether that's in your family, your community, or your workplace. And here's something else about leadership. It's not about having all the answers. It's about asking the right questions and being willing to seek out the best solutions, regardless of where they come from. When you act as if you're the best, you're open to input from others because you're secure in your own ability. Fear is one of the biggest obstacles that holds people back from acting as if they're the best Fear of failure, fear of success, fear of judgment, fear of the unknown. But here's the thing about fears. It's just an emotion. It's a signal from your brain that you're stepping out of your comfort zone. And guess what? That's exactly where growth happens. When you act as if you're the best, you're not eliminating fear. You're learning to dance with it. You're saying, I feel afraid and I'm gonna take action anyway. That's what courage is all about. Think about the ripple effect of your actions. When you consistently perform at your highest level, you create a wave of positive change that extends far beyond yourself. Your excellence inspires others, challenges the status quo, and raises the bar for everyone around you. Consider how this principle applies to your relationships. When you act as if you're the best partner, friend, or family member, you bring a new level of care, attention, and love to those connections. You listen more deeply, communicate more clearly, and show up more fully. 
This doesn't mean you're perfect. It means you're committed to giving your best in every interaction. Life will throw curveballs your way, that's a given. But when you act as if you're the best, you develop an unshakable core of resilience. You see challenges not as insurmountable obstacles, but as opportunities to prove your mettle. You bounce back faster from setbacks because you know they're just temporary detours on your path to greatness. Consider how this mindset affects your decision-making. When you act as if you're the best, you make decisions from a place of confidence and clarity. You're not swayed by fleeting emotions or short-term gains. Instead, you consider the long-term implications and choose the path that aligns with your highest values and goals. Let's explore the concept of personal standards. When you act as if you're the best, you naturally raise your standards in every area of life. You no longer settle for good, you strive for excellence in everything you do, whether it's your work, your relationships, or even how you keep your living space. Think about how this principle applies to your health and well-being. When you act as if you're the best, you treat your body like the high-performance machine it is. You fuel it with nutritious food, you challenge it with regular exercise, you give it the rest it needs. You recognize that your physical health is the foundation for everything else in your life. Let's consider the impact on your creativity. When you act as if you're the best, you give yourself permission to think big, to innovate, to challenge conventional wisdom. You're not afraid to share your ideas or to try new approaches. This mindset unleashes your creative potential in ways you might never have imagined. Next, we'll delve into the power of focus. When you act as if you're the best, you develop laser-like focus on what truly matters. You're not distracted by trivial concerns or petty dramas. Instead, you keep your eyes on the prize, concentrating your energy and efforts on the activities that will move you closer to your goals. This mindset significantly impacts your time management. Acting as if you're the best, you treat your time as the precious resource it is. You become more intentional about how you spend your days cutting out time wasters and prioritizing activities that contribute to your growth and success. We'll explore the impact on your emotional intelligence. Acting as if you're the best improves your attunement to your own emotions and those of others. You're able to navigate complex social situations with grace and empathy. This emotional mastery becomes a powerful tool in both your personal and professional life. This mindset also amplifies your approach to learning. When you act as if you're the best, you become a voracious learner. You're constantly seeking out new knowledge, new skills, new perspectives. You recognize that in our rapidly changing world, the ability to learn and adapt is perhaps the most crucial skill of all. Acting as the best, you approach your finances with a mindset of abundance rather than scarcity. You make smart decisions about earning, saving, and investing. You see money as a tool to create value and make a positive impact, not as an end in itself. Acting as if you're the best is a daily practice. It's about showing up day after day and giving your best effort, even when you don't feel like it. This consistency compounds over time, leading to extraordinary results. Consider how this principle affects your ability to handle criticism. When you act as if you're the best, you don't let criticism derail you. Instead, you're able to sift through feedback, take what's useful, and discard the rest. You see constructive criticism as a gift, an opportunity to refine your skills and become even better. Acting as the best, you bring out the best in those around you. You're not threatened by others' success. Instead, you celebrate it. You recognize that true greatness often comes from combining diverse talents and perspectives. Think about how this principle applies to your personal growth. When you act as if you're the best, you're constantly pushing your boundaries and stepping out of your comfort zone. You seek out challenges that will stretch you and help you grow. You understand that comfort is the enemy of progress. Acting as if you're the best allows you to develop a different relationship with stress. Instead of seeing it as something to be avoided, you recognize it as a natural part of growth and achievement. You learn to perform under pressure and to stay calm in the face of challenges. When you act as if you're the best, 
you become adept at visualizing success. You can see your goals clearly in your mind's eye, which makes them feel more attainable. This vivid visualization helps guide your actions and keeps you motivated even when the path gets tough. Finally, consider how this mindset affects your ability to inspire others. When you act as if you're the best, you become a source of inspiration for those around you. People are drawn to your energy, your confidence, your commitment to excellence. You become a role model, often without even realizing it. When you act as if you're the best, you approach problems with creativity and determination. You don't get bogged down in complaints or excuses. Instead, you focus on finding solutions. You become known as someone who can get things done no matter the obstacles. Think about how this mindset affects your personal brand. When you act as if you're the best, you naturally develop a strong personal brand. People come to associate you with excellence, reliability, and integrity. This reputation opens doors and creates opportunities that might otherwise remain closed. When you act as if you're the best, you become a master of goal setting. You set ambitious targets that stretch you and you develop the discipline and determination to follow through. You understand that goals are not just wishes, they're commitments to yourself. Acting as if you're the best doesn't mean pretending to be someone you're not. It means being the best version of yourself. It's about aligning your actions with your values and letting your unique strengths shine through. Networking and building relationships. When you act as if you're the best, you approach networking with confidence and a genuine interest in others. You're not just looking for what others can do for you. You're looking for ways you can add value to their lives as well. Handling success. When you act as if you're the best, you're prepared for success when it comes. You don't let it go to your head or become complacent. Instead, you see each success as a stepping stone to even greater achievements, your legacy. When you act as if you're the best, you start thinking beyond just your immediate goals. You consider the long-term impact of your actions and decisions. You think about the legacy you want to leave and the mark you want to make on the world, on forgiveness. When you act as if you're the best, you understand that holding on to grudges or beating yourself up over past mistakes only holds you back. You learn to forgive quickly and move forward, focusing your energy on the present and future. The power of gratitude. When you act as if you're the best, you cultivate a deep sense of gratitude for your life, your opportunities, and the people around you. This gratitude fuels your motivation and helps you maintain a positive outlook, even in challenging times. Adapting to change. When you act as if you're the best, you become more flexible and adaptable. You see change not as a threat, but as an opportunity to grow and evolve. This adaptability becomes a crucial asset in our rapidly changing world. Sense of purpose. When you act as if you're the best, you become more attuned to your personal mission and purpose. You start to see how your unique talents and passions can make a meaningful difference in the world. Balancing different areas of life. When you act as if you're the best, you strive for excellence, not just in one area, but in all aspects of your life. You work to create harmony between your professional ambitions, personal relationships, health, and spiritual growth. Mentoring others. When you act as if you're the best, you naturally become a mentor to those around you. You freely share your knowledge and experiences, helping others to grow and succeed. This not only benefits them, but also deepens your own understanding and mastery.